Hi guys, it's me. Once again, it's the holiday season. And while 2020's holiday may look a little different, one thing that hasn't changed is the seasonal music we turn to year in and year out. COVID or no COVID, I have some favorites that I return to over and over. Last Christmas by Wham may or may not be at the top of my list. Another super popular tune we hear this time of year is Schubert's Ave Maria. It's been sung by absolute icons of the music industry, such as Josh Groban, Michael Buble, and that Canadian goddess Celine Dion. But the words most people associate with this tune are not, in fact, the original words. Are you ready for a wild and wacky ride full of twists and turns in which I attempt to explain the whole thing to you? You better be, cause we're going in. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Originally, this song was not called Ave Maria. Its actual title is Ellen's third song. And while it may be lacking in imagination as far as titles are concerned, it's aptly named considering it is exactly what it proclaims to be. Ellen's third song from Schubert's song cycle, Seven Songs from Walter Scott's Lady of the Lake. And here is a brief summary of what you need to know from that story and how this famous song figures in. Walter Scott's Lady of the Lake is a lengthy narrative poem set in the 16th century. The main storyline goes thusly. King James V of Scotland has banished clan leader James Douglas to England, but Rather than leave his beloved country behind, Douglas finds refuge hiding in land belonging to a powerful Highland clan leader named Roderick Dhu. Here's where the plot thickens. Roderick is in love with Douglas's daughter, Ellen, which is a problem for Ellen because not only is Roderick living in open rebellion to the king, but she is also in love with someone else. As Roderick begins gathering supporters for his rebellion against King James, he pressures Ellen's father Douglas into joining him. Douglas, though, for all the hardships brought about by his exile, cannot bring himself to betray the King of Scotland and remains loyal to the crown. So Douglas and Ellen hide in a craggy lair, the sort of place wolves might make their den or a wild cat might leave her young. In this place, Ellen and her father hide, and it is in this place that she prays in desperation to the Virgin Mary. Ave Maria, maiden mild, listen to a maiden's prayer. If you wanna know what happens to Ellen and her father, I highly recommend reading Sir Walter Scott's poem in its entirety. For our purposes, however, we'll leave it at that. So the three verses of Ave Maria were originally written and published in English in 1810, indeed, as was the rest of the poem. Scott's poem was then translated into German a few years later, and it was this German translation that Schubert read and was inspired to set in his song cycle, Seven Songs from Walter Scott's Lady of the Lake, with the Ave Maria serving as Ellen's third song in the cycle. After its composition, Ellen's third song was immediately recognized for its transcendental religious tone. Schubert even wrote about it in a letter to his father saying, Oh God, I need to get that. <laughs> Schubert even wrote about it in a letter to his father saying, They wondered greatly at my piety, which I expressed in a hymn to the Holy Virgin and which it appears grips every soul and turns it to devotion. With its unmistakable religious quality, Ellen was, after all, most likely a devout Catholic, it was an easy target for appropriation by the Catholic Church, who refit the melody with the Latin Ave Maria text, and voila, we've got a sacred church song. This is the setting in which most of us were introduced to it, and it's hard to argue with Celine, Michael, or Josh for wanting to make their own cover of it. Though, I can't help but wish that Michael had brushed up on his Latin diction just a tad. Sorry for that shade. Wow, we made it. I think those were all the main talking points I had for today. I can't believe we got through all of that without losing the plot somewhere along the way. If you wanna know what the original text is, take a look at the description for this video and you'll be able to find it there, as well as the German translation that Schubert set and the English translation of that. It's like 
Translation Inception. Also, check out my recording of this song and let me know what you think. You can always find me here on Instagram at LeaderNerd and on YouTube as Mandy Madrid Sikich. See you later, nerd!